A L what's good is Cardio B and today we're gonna be looking at 10 Loki underground clothing brands. So if you wanna know how they dress like that, y'all wanna know the clothing brands they shop at? Then stay tuned. Roll the intro. Gotta move that shit, yeah. Gotta represent, yeah. Look at the cat, huh? Oh, this shit, huh? Hey yo, first to kick off this video, I gotta thank Cash K. And first off, we'll be talking about US. Cozy, the Sauce Kid Poppy Q's brand. His stuff is hard. He got zip ups, he got shirts. It's just hard. He does a lot of rhinestone work with the zip ups. But here, I'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, that's the first brand, only like 10K following. What actually got me attracted to the brand was the zip up with the bat on the back, which is really hard. I actually bought that one. But next brand, the Big Streetwear. They do a lot of work. As you can see, they do a lot of work with puff prints and puff prints. I'm a fiend for it. Puff prints are amazing. You don't know what a puff print is. We list it right here on the screen. Gotta check them out. Really good. I've seen Cash Dommy wearing it in one of his music videos. The next brand is actually Basket Case Dot Gallery. It's kind of low key underground. It has 70k followers, but it's so hard. It's art. Y'all can see. To really, I just love this brand. I don't know what to say. The brand is just an amazing brand. So y'all go check that out. And on to the next one. The next brand is One Dot Off. So they're pretty low key. They're pretty underground, but they do a lot of work in Carhartt, like patch, sew work, all like hand did. It's amazing. It's actually sick. So as you can see, that's one of my favorite hoodies right there with the lavender type. I don't know what the color even is. It's like a pink lavender, whatever. It's so sick with the skeleton holding the heart. And then on the back, it actually says, love yourself, not me. It's just hard. <laughs> if you don't think that's hard, I don't know what's wrong with you. Anyways, though, check that out. That's an amazing brand. They do a bunch of like patchwork and car heart. It's a little bit pricey, but it's really worth it. They really hand like, it's just insane. Anyways, next brand. The next brand is actually called What Happened to God. Also, O-N-D, there's two names for the brand. But they make sick clothes. They actually have a pearl necklace coming out. It's like pearls and then it has crosses. It's sick, but boom. That's all I need to show you. That zip up hoodie got me really attracted to the brand. That zip up hoodie is so fire. It's called the Blue Spirit. It's like $100 something, $117. It's so nice. It's called the Blue Spirit. It's one of the best zip up hoodies I've ever seen. Low key. It's it's hella hard, bro. They're about to blow up, so hop on the way if we still can, bro. All right, the next brand is called Crypto World. Cash Tommy actually modeled for them for the latest uh, drop, or whatever, latest season, whatever you want to call it. Their clothes are really hard. As you can see, that brown crypto hood, zip up, hoodie, zip up, zip up hoodie. If that's even, what am I even saying? Okay. Yeah, as you can see, that brown zip up hoodie is really hard. I like, that's what got me looking into the brand. And then I saw the purple uh, crew neck type sweater with the, it's really hard. All right, for the next brand, it's called Public Mage USA. It's actually really, really low key underground. It only has like, it has almost 8K followers, which is really nothing for a clothing brand. So it's really hard. You guys should go support them. Also, just because they're a small upcoming brand, you always want to support them. And it's just hard. Their zip up hoodies are out of this world. They're really hard. They kind of remind me of vape hoodies. Kind of the way they style them with some of the prints on them is really hard. As you can see that purple and black one up there, it's it's really hard. 
as I was saying, just go support them, check them out. Alright, so for the next brand, this one is when I was first getting into fashion, I found I was like, wow, this is immaculate. It's called Lemons.Fire. Lemons on Fire. It's an insane brand. They do a blow paint. I don't, don't quote me on that. I don't know what it's called, but blow brush paint, whatever. Look, you can see it's on the screen. They do a bunch of like with the flames. It's it's unearthly. It's literally godly. As you can see, they do pop ups all around the world. I think their next pop up is actually going to be in New York. Yeah, it says right there it's going to be in New York next. Just they do a lot of really cool art, and it's not really pricey at all, to be honest. It's really it's just really neat and cool all right the next brand is called no owners i'm sure you guys have seen these right there there's no way you guys haven't seen these they're they blew up these <laughs> zip up hoodies a lot of people had them but i don't care because i still think that they're hard no owners with the little they kind of like chrome hard crosses hard just you could go follow them i'm they don't have the zip ups out right now but just go follow them for their next drop it's really hard the last and final brand is called 5am hustle great brand it's really low key it only has 3k followers but it's hard actually this other youtuber fashion youtuber paul dot souls check him out he's a great youtuber he put me on to this brand by watching one of his videos hard 5am hustle is a good brand because look at the mesh shorts have you ever seen a pair of mesh shorts with a puff print that's a puff print right i think it's a puff print don't quote me on that but a mesh pair of shorts with the puff print just a little 5am hustle just throw it on you feel me you could just throw it on with whatever just go to the store throw on some shorts and they're hard anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that video that's just 10 low-key clothing brands i hope you guys enjoy that i'll catch you in the next video